Okay. I've been getting some flack, but I'm not really showing enough videos. So anyway, um, I got some stannous chloride cooking over here, some some other batches over here. I'm just messing around with that, but I have plenty of that. Um, here's some chemicals, you know, that if they're losing it. I'm not gonna get into that. Right now what I'm doing is um, we talked earlier about the um, oxidizing some of the sulfides with the uh, hydrogen peroxide. But I'm also doing a, um, um, just to make sure my chemicals are right, because this is Africa and who knows what's what. I've uh, taken a small, um, maybe about 0.3 grams of gold. Um, I put in uh, some hydrochloric acid, and um, which is right here, my HCl. Actually right here, but I and then in this uh, tincture here, I have uh, bleach, um, which I add every maybe 15 minutes and a few, you know, a little squeezer full at a time. So I get to about, um, oh, I'd say about half the amount of uh, hydrogen peroxide I started, or the gold has been completely dissolved. Um, of course, this is gold that was, um, um, extracted using uh, mercury that I bought from someone just for this purpose of testing. So um, we took a weight of it before and now I'm going to dissolve it. I'm going to precipitate it with sodium metabisulfate. Um, we'll precipitate that out and then we'll take a, a weight of um, what it was before and what it was after and it should give us the idea of the purity of the local gold. When I'm done, I'm left with 99.99% of gold would be, the, would be the key. So the, the tricky part is going to be to take these table concentrates um, that I have and be able to use the same process where it's just gold to dissolve the gold out of there. And there's other iron and manganese and arsenic and all other things that react with different things. So. Um, being able to pre-treat that and, and remove the iron, remove, you know, neutralize the, the sulfides, or at least break the sulfides bond with the gold so that it can be, you know, absorbed in the, in the leach. Um, you know, there's still testing that's going on. So, but I need a, a, a control, and I'm basically testing this for um, the quality of uh, the gold that's coming out uh, in mercury use, but I'm also um, testing my stannous chloride that I'm, I'm making with the... Uh, using uh, tin for, I mean, um, soldering uh, uh, tin, you know, it's a soldering 60-40 lead solder tin. So I dissolved some of that out. I'm going to see if it works, but most likely my plan was to um, use a small dish to grow tin crystals, pure tin crystals, using electrolysis, using old so something to do. Um, then I'll have the, the pure tin. But um, um, that's only to test to make sure the solution is. And as you can see, the solution is turning a nice yellow color. Um, I don't know if you can see, but the, the gold is now breaking up into, uh, where is it on my video? The gold is now breaking up into uh, pieces as it's dissolving, uh, the bubbles coming up as it's dissolving. So, anyway, this is all at room temperature. Goes back to my beaker, uh, my little beaker pile. This is one of my rods where I was teaching people to use charged mercury and um, use uh, retorts. And, um, and of course, I always have my stock of mercury. I don't use it, but it's uh, sometimes it's good to show people, okay, here's what you got with mercury. Now I retort all that, and uh, here's what you're going to get with, uh, with our chemical process. And that's always sometimes even triple the amount that they were, uh, they were getting. But practice makes perfect, and I'm not going to put anything out there that's not perfect, otherwise people will bitch. Anyway, cool. Thanks for watching. I know it wasn't that interesting. Uh, Oh, and my distilling machine is out, so I'm having to buy this distilled water at like a dollar a meter. It's ridiculous. So, anyway.